The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today what we're going to be doing is ripping some packs, trying to get the new Pro Bowl legends that are in the game. Guys, we have an Adrian Peterson, a Derek Johnson, JJ Watt, and a Brandon Marshall. So cool to get all of these guys. And I think it's a really good selection of players as well, because all four of these guys probably will not be getting cards for the rest of the year, at least, you know, based on... Um, the guys that, you know, based on what they did this year, none of them really had like a super standout year. Derek Johnson wasn't bad. Brandon Marshall was pretty much terrible. And obviously Adrian Peterson and JJ Watt were out the majority, if not the whole season in JJ Watt's case. So, uh, chances are we might get maybe like a JJ Watt player. That's like something like a superlative, like most missed or something like that. But like, other than that, I can't really see any of these other guys getting many cards. Possible Adrian Peterson will get like a legend card or something, but Chances are this is it for these guys. So I think there are good four selections for the Pro Bowl Legends. And it's definitely a cool looking promo as well. I like the colors that they used and everything like that. So uh, what we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to try and open up some packs, like I said, and see if we can get any of these cards. Uh, if you go into the auction house, or not the auction house, the store right now, you're going to see that they do have the legendary playoff packs that you can open up. Now, these are going to guarantee us a legend player that's gold or better, as well as two legend items, and then also two additional or a 12 additional player teams items so uh, it's gonna give us a bunch of players that we can potentially have an opportunity at one of them being one of those legends along with obviously like it says there the one NFL playoff player is guaranteed as well now these are 90,000 coins each. So basically what's going to happen here, guys, is I'm going to open up four of these, and then we're just going to rip all of the rest of the coins that I have in Pro Packs. So we'll see if we can get anything good today. I'm not really expecting anything because you guys know how my luck is in packs. But uh, we're going to try and do it. So obviously, again, the Pro Pack 7,500. We could also go with the NFL Playoff Packs, but I'm just not a huge fan of those because most of the playoff players aren't that valuable. Um, it's pretty much all about getting those legends at this point. So we're going to try and give ourselves the best opportunity to do that. So with that said, let's open up a couple of these uh, legendary playoff packs, guys. Let's start it off quick here. Let's go. Let's get this thing rolling, baby. Come on. Give me something good right off the bat. Okay, so we get the Willie McGinnis 2002 card. I don't think that's really probably worth much. Dwight Freeney, okay. Come on. Give me something good. Here's an Elite. Here we go. And it's a Russell Wilson 86. Okay. Like, not really that valuable at this point, but hey, we'll still take the Elite card. It's definitely better than nothing. All right, continuing on. We get the other Elite here in the pack, and this is going to be a Chad Ocho Cinco collectible from 2006. So, not bad. You guys know I pulled that Chad Ocho Cinco when it was in packs, the actual limited edition one, which is crazy considering my luck for, like, the last two years has just been ass. And we get a Dwayne Allen there. Let's see if we can get some more red paint here. Come on. Here we go. Here's some more red paint. Let's go. And it's the Derek Johnson collectible. So this is definitely one that you need to complete that Derek Johnson set if you want him. Again, not really sure on the value on that. Probably not worth a whole lot. Derek Johnson's probably the worst of the bunch of the four cards that came out. Uh, but still, still some value at least. All right, so we got, you know, obviously a whole bunch of gold players. We got the Russell Wilson. So not a bad pack. Probably not the greatest pack. But, you know, still, still decent enough anyways. We'll continue on here with the 90K packs like these things are crazy guys i don't know what the hell like why the hell are they ninety thousand? i don't like there's just no reason at all that anybody should open them unless they're doing like a youtube pack opening video in my opinion like if you're honestly trying to make coins do not go this route this is not a good decision <laughs> just doing it for fun and we get the mike singletary 1988 collectible there not a great one here we go another elite card and it's a sam shields 85 okay like, I know that uh, I actually didn't even realize. I opened a Sam Shields, like, an 88 overall, I think it was, in my last video that I did, the pack opening. Well, I guess it wasn't the last one, but a couple pack openings ago. Uh, and I had no idea the thing was worth, like, 180 or 200,000 coins. Like, I, I knew it would had some value, but I was thinking, like, 40K. But, yeah, that was very, very valuable. Obviously, this one isn't going to be worth that much, but still little decent anytime you pull one of those elite legend players it's always worth at least something so that's always good all right let's continue on here kobe fleener let's get some more of that red paint coming in boys come on jake matthews alex smith okay tj yeldon here we go some more red let's go and it's a Will marcellus wiley 2001 year collectible probably worth like 2k at this point and uh not anything to wrap up that pack all right so 
let's continue on here let's see if we can get more of those elite legend players at least i mean it would be great to pull the full legend i i'm not expecting it just even though there's four of them in packs this weekend which gives you a little bit better odds still doesn't seem like many people are pulling these things i don't know let's continue on though all right eugene monroe come on zach zenner playoff card okay come on let's get some more red here we go here we go it's a Sean Taylor collectible. Okay. At least Sean Taylor's one of the better legends. Come on. Victor Cruz. Another elite here. And it is a Jeremy Shockey year collectible. Damn it. We need elite players. We need the players, damn it. Ah, the collectibles just aren't worth much. We get into Mon Green there in 84, but that's probably one of the least valuable ones, unfortunately. All right, so we got one more of these packs, and then we'll rip the rest of what the 80k or whatever that I have here on this on this name um, in pro packs, and see if we can get him that way. Pro packs, as you guys know, are usually not the move. Yeah, I like I don't know. I'm just gonna do it for the hell of it to to make the video a little bit longer because I know a lot of people don't like it if you only open up four packs. I open up as many as I could with coins. I'm not putting money into the game at this point. Like right now, it just isn't happening. EA, it's not happening. As we get the Donovan McNabb there. Like, the packs just are not good enough to justify putting money into the game. Tony Boselli. Okay. Come on. Give me some elites. Where the hell are all my elites? Where the hell are all my freaking elites? Here we go. Come on, baby. And it's like the worst possible one. Kevin Green collectible. Oh, boy. Great. Jalen Collins. And then the last card, not an elite either. Damn, man. That is a brutal pack. That's probably one of the worst ones that I've had. We did get a couple of the gold legends, but those are not worth anything either. So, not a great pack opening there. We've got, what, enough for, like, what, six, I guess, almost? No, no, I'm sorry. I'm counting wrong. Uh, like, probably about ten pro packs, and we'll see if we can uh, pull anything decent out of any of those. All right, here we go, boys. Let's go through these quick. Let's fire through them. Marcus Peters, so that means probably not anything great out of that pack. All right. I hate how the pro packs are so difficult to get to this year. Like, they just, they so badly want you to open packs with coins. Like, the other shitty packs that you never make any any coins back in. And people ask, like, why why would you, uh, like, advertise a coin selling website? Like, because the packs in this game are ass. Like, if you really want to get a good team, guys, opening packs is not the move. Like, <laughs> really, really, really is not the move. But uh, we do it for the fun of it. We do it for the fun of it. And not to mention, I mean, I'm making videos. It's just it's just the way that it is. You, you kind of got to do it. You kind of got to open up packs, even though it's not the right decision. And it's really, like, it's encouraging people to open up packs when they really, really shouldn't. So, I don't know. I think on mobile, I have way better pack opening luck. I don't know if anybody else agrees. If you guys play mobile and console, let me know in the comments section below if you agree. Like, I definitely pull way better stuff out of the mobile packs than I do the standard packs. Now, granted, my best pull is still on console when I got the Chad Ocho Cinco, but, like, all the rest of my best packs are pretty much on mobile this year. So, I don't know. And I've even had a few where I was I was just randomly pulling packs on mobile and I got something good. As we get a Todd Gurley there and a base elite again, not a great pull, but still an elite. We'll take that. Again, anytime you pull elites this year, like, it's pretty good, to be honest with you. Even though it, that Todd Gurley is definitely not worth... Well, I don't think it's worth 7500 so I probably didn't make my coins back still. But it's still nice to pull an elite. It's still nice to get that, like, little bit of hype and potentially maybe get a, a Pro Bowl legend. But, I'm, I'm, again, I'm not really expecting it. Let's continue through here, boys. As we get just nothing, 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 garbage, Brandon Shreff. What the hell? Come on. We need something good. We've got what? What is that? Five more packs? Yep, five more, I believe. Uh, it's going to be... I'm going to be down to, like, nothing in coins. Now, granted, guys, just to let you know, I do have a whole bunch of large quick sells. So, I will probably be back up in coins fairly quickly. But, still, it's kind of crazy how quickly you can roll through coins in this game. CJ Anderson. All right. Let's go. Come on. We just got to get something good. Just got to get something good. One time. One legend. All right, let's go from the back this time. Sometimes people say you get better luck going from opposite directions and doing weird shit. I don't agree as we get the uh, the Robert Mathis there. I'm really, like, not superstitious, but sometimes I just do it for the hell of it because I know a lot of people are like, you, you, all you do is go from left to right. I don't know, dude. Like, the packs are predetermined. So, I... <laughs> I don't think it makes any difference, to be honest with you. All right, continuing on. 
Come on. And we get the freaking Brandon Flowers. Or uh, Eric Flowers. I don't know why I said Brandon Flowers. Um, all right. Come on. We got, what, two more packs here. Come on. We just got to get one freaking decent pull, boys. Just one time. Come on. Nate Allen. Okay. All right. One more pack, guys. One more pack to rule them all. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and drop a like on it. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. And hopefully we'll get something decent out of this last freaking pack. Kenny Britt is the first card. That pretty much guarantees we're not getting anything good. We could get two golds, but probably not. And there you have it, guys. Nothing good out of this pack. So pretty much a loss on today's pack opening video, unfortunately. But again, guys, if you enjoy it, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate all the support, guys. Hope you got something better in your packs than I did. And I will talk to you guys again soon.